In this challenge, we need to write a function to calculate the factorial of a number. If you read the task, this is what they say. We need to implement a function. That function has to be named factorial. It needs to have a parameter called n, and then we need to return the value of n factorial. This is their code here. You can simply toggle the top here. We don't need it. If you read the implementation of the main function, they get some inputs for a numerical value and they store it in the constants n, and then they pass n to factorial, which is the function that we need to define. So this is how you can define a factorial function. The traditional way in JavaScript is to have the function keyword followed by the identifier for your function, which is the name of the function, then parentheses, and in between parentheses, you have your parameters. They can be one or many, but in this case, we need only one parameter. The name of that parameter doesn't matter. To calculate the factorial of a number, you need to return that original number if it's less than three. Now you can go back to your math books and figure out why that is. I just want to focus on the JavaScript aspects of this challenge, but this is how factorials work. If it's three or more, then we need to call that function recursively and pass it x minus one. So if this here, for example, was the value five when we call that function inside of the main program, then here we are passing factorial four times five. And then at the next call, we'll pass factorial three times four. But remember, once again, as we said, once the value of the parameter is less than three, we simply return that number. This has to do with recursion. I'm not going to dive too deep into that, but just keep in mind that that is how you define a function in JavaScript. There are other ways like arrow functions, which you are more likely to see nowadays, but this is a good way to learn since it's the traditional methods. Let's run this code now. We've passed the sample test case and we've also passed the two other test cases. So that's it for this Hacker challenge. If you like my solution, please subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you next time.